Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to my webinar family from all over the place. So nice to have you here. Uh, yeah, welcome to the webinar. I've been excited to present to you for a very long time. Today, I will be giving you a tour of the new and improved Legacy Family Tree webinars website. So thanks to the more than 2,500 of you from 40 countries who have registered for the live webinar. Thanks for sharing part of your day with me. And I hope you've all enjoyed Webtember. All 30 of the classes remain free through this Thursday, but with your webinar membership, you have access any time. <clears throat> and I hope that you'll enjoy these door prizes, so stick around at the end of the webinar to see who wins. First, I'll have my personal favorite book, Kindred Voices, listening for our ancestors, and then I'll give away the digital download of the Tech Zone video, One Step to Faster Internet at Home, followed by the Legacy Family Tree software, and then a one month's webinar membership for one of you. And now this is where I would usually introduce the speaker, but we all know each other so well. I'll just say that it's been a pleasure and an honor to, well, first be the founder of the Legacy Family Tree webinars series, and also to work with and learn from so many wonderful educators. In fact, to get a bit personal here, I'm one of you. I too use the webinar library to help me find my ancestor. Just this week after nearly 25 years, I finally discovered when and where my wife's great great grandparents died in England. And thanks to what one of our speakers, Paul Milner, taught in a recent webinar. Uh, so as many of you have sent me thank you emails for how the webinars have helped you. I have also sent Paul a personal thank you just last night for how he helped me in a live webinar. Which takes us to the new and improved Legacy Family Tree webinars website taught by yours truly. The site is now faster mobile friendly and easier to navigate. Search capabilities were enhanced and new filters were added. And the speakers page now makes it easy for you to read about our incredible speakers, including their bios, webinars, and more. Thanks Maria who writes in saying she loves the new website. And members enjoy exclusive benefits such as bonus webinars, can access their watch history, bookmarks, and a list of webinars they've signed up for all in one place. So clearly I'm excited uh, about the new website. So this is what we're going to cover today. I've never presented this class before, so I'm really uncertain how long it will go or what tangents I just might take. Uh, so this is live and unscripted, but, uh, but one thing is uh, is for sure we'll discover tips and tricks along the way and uh, yeah I really hope that you enjoy the tour so here it goes so I've divided this into a few different sections and the first will be uh, we'll talk to you about uh, upcoming webinars so let me <laughs> I've got so much already open uh, yes here we go so familytreewebinars.com so uh, you want to attend attend a live webinar, or you want to know what's coming, uh, how do we do that? So uh, a few different ways. So first of all, here on the home page, you get just a, a quick glimpse of how many webinars are available in the library, the number of speakers, syllabus pages, and uh, the search box right here. But scroll down just a bit, and we are now at zero seconds. <laughs> before this live webinar uh, occurs. So whichever webinar is coming up next will will be shown in, here in this prominent location and and uh, the next four uh, webinars are shown just below that. And you know what my very favorite thing uh, is is that all of the time the dates and the time zones are automatically calculated for us. So because I'm in the Mount Turn the mountain because I'm in the mountain 
daylight time zone right now. It's calculated my time to be exactly at 12 noon. Looks like next Tuesday we get started at 7 p.m. my time, which on Carol's screen it will show up as noon uh, Sydney time. So the way that you register now is you just click on the register button. Well, this is one way. And you get a screen where you fill out that name, email, country, and click register. No longer, when you click on the register button out here, are you going to be taken to yet another page where you then have to click on register again. It just automatically does it just uh, straight from here. So pretty excited about that. I'll close that screen. If you want to learn just a bit more about what the webinar will be about, then you'll click on the title beginning Ukrainian genealogy and then this is uh, it gives you the description here and for those of you who are asking where does the syllabus appear so I usually try to have that here on the registration page uh, one or two or three days in advance of the live webinar it really just depends on when I receive it from the, the speaker so it will always just show up right here and it does say join now to unlock the syllabus because as you know the syllabus is a member benefit so uh, if you're hoping to print or download or just look at that syllabus before the live webinar happens just uh, here I'll go back to the home page you would just click on the title and look at this this one is uh, now shows up we're 23 hours and 53 minutes away from that so we just click on the title and right next to the register button is the syllabus button Okay, so that's one way to register for an upcoming webinar. Next way, let's go up to the Upcoming Webinars tab right up here. And do you notice how fast this is? It's, it's incredibly <laughs> speedy. I just love it. If you're logged in, it's not as fast, but that's because there's so much more that uh, you have access to. Okay, so here on the Upcoming Webinars page, you have all of the orange buttons where uh, you can sign up for them one at a time, uh, just like I showed you out on the home page. And as you scroll down, and look at this. Again, they're all calculated. I just love that. As you scroll down, it doesn't show everything all at once, and so you just click on View More, and that will load the next handful of those. Okay, so you can do them one at a time. You can also click on the title from here, or <laughs> I love this. Okay, so we have 37 upcoming live webinars through the rest of this year and you might not want to have to click on the register button for each one individually so look what happens to all of these orange register buttons when I click on this button that says select multiple webinars so I'll click on it and you see how all of those buttons turn into little check boxes where you can just go and and click on the ones that you want to register for so after you've done that just click on the register button here fill out your information and you'll be sent a confirmation email for each live webinar that you register for so that's fun or you can just click on the select all button and that will go and select all 37 of them and you can click register now here's a quick tip for you perhaps maybe there's one or two of these uh, in here that yeah, it's just not your cup of tea and so uh, I just recommend that you click on select all and then go through and just turn off the check mark for the one or two that you might not want to attend live like this French language one uh, I wouldn't be able to uh, understand so do that and then come and click on the register button and off you go so I think that's my tips for that I'm curious because I've never tried this is the multiple is the bulk registration available when I click on the on the list view I'm hoping so well it looks like it so if I click on the bulk link right here yeah very good all right so we can select all that way and deselect ones you might not want and click on register okay <laughs> I'm getting lots of accolades here from uh, the chat log about that all right and yes yeah, Suzanne yeah it will come in very handy in the new year you know interestingly this just gives me a thought here I'm gonna hit cancel if you are logged in as a webinar member and, and let me do that right now this is kind of a cool 
trick. So I'm going to sign in. So it's checking to see if I've got an active membership here. And no, I don't want to add that. Okay, so as you, as you look at the list, do you see how it now will tell you which ones you're registered for? So scroll down. So I kind of sneak some new webinars in throughout the year, and, and maybe you didn't notice that I did that. So if you're a webinar member, sign in, go and look at upcoming webinars, and if there are any of these register for free buttons, then that means, oh, that's, that's a new one that Jeff uh, added recently. So that'll tell you uh, at a glance which ones you're not yet registered for. I'm going to sign out because that just keeps the super speed going here. All right, what's next on my list? Oh, yes, let's go back to upcoming webinars here. And I'm going to go back to this grid view. All right, because that's what I'm most familiar with here. Now, perhaps you're a... Oh, getting new into DNA. And you really just want to see what DNA webinars do we have coming up. So use this button, right? This is, I think, the most, well, the second most important button on the whole website. This and this search box. So I'll click on all categories. And this shows you the categories of the live webinars that are coming up. Notice uh, organization is not... Well, I can't click on it. Well, we don't have any organization live webinars coming up. So if I want DNA testing, I'll come over here to the right. And I'll click on DNA testing. This shows me that of the 36 upcoming live webinars, here are the five that are related to DNA. And then, excuse me, then I could register one by one or click on select multiple webinars and go and sign up for all of them right here. Love it. We also have some series uh, such as, let's go back here. We've got the 2021 Joy Reisinger Memorial Lecture Series coming up. I think it's just next week. So I can click on this, uh, what do we call the, these uh, categories or these filters up here? And this shows me everything that's in that series, all six classes. Uh, starting with Elizabeth Schoen Mills, isn't this wonderful? And so I could register for those. Or let me hit the clear filter button, and here comes everything. Oh, I don't need Google Drive yet. Turn that off. Okay. Uh, I might want to do the same thing with uh, the O Canada series. So uh, here's what's coming up for the rest of the year in the live O Canada series. Or the African Diaspora series. Uh, this is the remaining three coming up with the next one coming up this Friday. So uh, hope, hopefully you get the idea. <clears throat> Other series, uh, the BCG series. So I think this has a good number of them left uh, the remaining of this year because it does include those Joy Reisinger ones as well. So uh, play around with this right here. So since we're on the upcoming webinars uh, tab, then whatever filters are right here are related to what's coming. If you want to have some fun, here I'll click on all, and you want to test out your Francais, then uh, clicking on, so I've got all categories selected. Now let's click on all languages. So notice for the rest of the year, it looks like English and French are the only two uh, languages available. So click on French, and this will show you we've still, we've got two of them coming up in the language of French. All right, other ways to find out what's coming. I told you this was one of my two favorite buttons on the site. Well, this right up here is my other uh, favorite way. So this is the search box. And if when you use it, you'll notice that it is incredibly fast. So let's go to DNA, and I just start typing in DNA, and, and poof, just like that, shows me the categories, if there's any subcategories, then all webinars that have the word DNA in the title. And and so we're, we're thinking of upcoming webinars right now. So I'll just click on view all. And basically what we've just done by using the search is it has it's uh, now uh, filtered all of the webinars just to show those that are upcoming in the DNA category. Uh, do the same thing up here. Instead of for a category, do it for the name of a speaker. So I'll start typing in uh, Cindy, for example. And uh, here is her only upcoming live webinar through the rest of this year. So I'll click there. 
and here's my register button. So anything that you can think of, just start typing it, typing it in up here, and I'll type in my name, and that's what shows up. Let's type in um, England, and you see how quickly I just love I I just love just doing that just to see how neat that is. And let's see, Robin says, is there a way for members to locate just the bonus webinars? Well, let's type in the word bonus, and, and there's your answer. Uh, now, we don't have any live bonus webinars uh, coming up because those are usually uh, pre-recorded ones. So this is just showing us those in the library. All right, very good. Uh, back to the upcoming webinars tab. So this is going to answer some of your other questions that I see coming in here. So on the upcoming webinars tab, we've got some other choices up here. When we click on add to calendar, uh, what that will do is it will open up your Google calendar. And I'm hoping that, <laughs> okay, if I remember my password. Oh, don't look at that. Let me turn off some of this personal stuff. Okay. so. When you, when you do that, when you click on Add to Calendar, what that's doing is it's adding a new calendar to your other calendars. And you see it's got the check mark turned on. And so with, with this turned on, what's displaying on the calendar here is everything that's coming up. And Peggy says, well, how do you get a Google Calendar? Just head over to, well, calendar.google.com and sign up. I've been using this for years and absolutely love it. So if you want to see what's coming up, just have that turned on. If if you're done with it, just turn it off. So you see how it turns on, turns off. So that uh, works with your Google Calendar. Maybe in the future we'll add other calendars, but as Google Calendar is the most popular, that's what we've got. Um, that's what we've got built in for now. Uh, the link that says download download schedule. This is just opening up a PDF file of the entire year's uh, schedule. So if you want to see it in this format month by month. Now, I don't update this all the time. Um, so just kind of take this as uh, something you can print out, bring into your family history center or wherever. But always go to the website just to make sure. Uh, Stephen says, does, no, that's Jan and Greg. Does Google Calendar integrate with the calendar on iPhones? If you've got, well, I don't know. I don't have an iPhone. But if you've got the Google Calendar app on the iPhone, then, yeah, absolutely. All right, what else do we have here? Yeah, I've, I've shown you this list view, uh, time zone. I, I do have an outline to make sure that I, I don't miss some things that I do, did want to talk to you about. Oh, so when you go into uh, the actual title here, these share buttons are what I would recommend using if you want to uh, you know, tell, tell your genealogy group on Facebook about an upcoming live webinar. Like, uh, Just click on the share button, and that will open up the Facebook uh, share link with, well, maybe it will, if uh, depending on how fast Facebook is here for us. Uh, or if you use Twitter, or uh, if you click the share, uh, I like this one. It'll just copy the link, and so you can go and just you know add that link to wherever you want to add it. So use those and go and and click that like button. It it makes me happy to see people <laughs> liking that. All right, other goodies. Okay, I'm going to introduce this. I'm going to go up here and log in again, and let's type. Hopefully, I'd remember my password again. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Rasmussen at gmail. .com. I got a thousand of you almost looking at me, so I don't get everything right as I'm doing this live. All right, so I'm logged in. Now, check this out. You're going to be blown away if you haven't noticed this. So my name is shown right here. It has a new option here on this new website called My Lists. So I'm going to click on that. And here we have the watch history. Since we're only talking about upcoming webinars right now, I'll just show you 
here's your registered webinars. So this will give you a an up-to-date list of all of the, or, or a filtered list of just those webinars that you have registered for. So if you notice, you know, next next Wednesday's live webinar is not on this list, then that will remind you to uh, to go and sign up for that. Okay. Uh, book, oh, love this one. <laughs> love this one. Anyways, there, there's your, regis- your registered webinars. Okay, let me come up here. Just for speed's sake, I'm going to log out again. And, yeah, Adria, she says she just used the new webinar sign-up system to sign up for the mem- the Memorial Lecture Series super fast. Good, Adria, glad that you like that. Okay, let me head back over here to PowerPoint, and let's just make sure that this is what's next. Okay, so first part, you watch a live webinar, and you you know that those are those are... Well, they're usually free, and they've been that way for several years now. So live webinars are free. But to if you miss the live webinar, then you know that you can catch the replay for free for the first week in the webinar library. And after that, it's available anytime with a webinar membership. So let's go and look at some goodies for the webinar library. All right, so here on the home page... If you scroll down just a little bit and look at the recent webinars section, here's here's the webinar we're doing right now. Notice it says video coming soon. I don't know what this eight views thing is. Uh, maybe there's eight people waiting for the video to come. Uh, so this is where you'll see uh, what's happened most recently. So it shows you the first three here, and then click on this right arrow, and this shows you the next Three. So I think it shows you up to na- the, yeah, the latest nine uh, replays are found right here. You can click on the view all, and uh, and that'll take you right in there. Uh, Cecily, who says if a webinar has closed captions, uh, where does that show? Uh, it would be a little CC right here. Those usually take us two to three days to add, and these ones from Friday uh, we're still waiting on. Um, so that's one way of accessing uh, what's new. Let's go to webinar library. So I'll click there and here. So it shows us there's 1,606 webinars. If you ever wonder, how am I going to learn something about genealogy? Well, you just come here and look at that. And, and, uh, my goal is to have something for everybody for when you need it. All right. So all 1,606 are listed here in chronological order. So they're currently sorted by newest. Or you can sort them by most viewed, and that's looking at all the webinars of all time. And pretty quickly, it's it's uh, of those 1,606 webinars, it's showing us uh, that an introduction to DNA Painter has been viewed the most, followed by sources and citations, made simple, standard, and powerful, and so on and so on. So just scroll through if you want to see uh, what's popular. If you want to have them sorted by title... I don't know. To me, it doesn't make a lot of sense because, I mean, like the word the, uh, it, it's sorting on that. Or here it looks like it's sorting on the, um, <laughs> what do you call these things? Uh, the quotes, the apostrophes. So I like to have them sorted by newest. And then just uh, just above the sort, we have some additional uh, filter tools. So uh, if you're hoping to see what's free, just click on the free check mark. And of the 1,606 webinars, looks like 308 of those are in the free area. And uh, just scroll through and see if anything uh, looks good to you. I'll turn that off. If uh, you need the closed captioning, you've, we've got that check mark right next door. And I think, I think about. Well, I won't say it yet because I can't remember for sure. Yeah, of the 1,606 webinars, it looks like about half of them, or more than half of them, uh, at least every single last one of them in the last couple of years, we've be, we've been sure to add closed cap closed captioning. And it's not the captioning that you get for free when you're using uh, like uh, Zoom. Uh, this is uh, we actually caption human caption every single one of these. Um, yeah, it's quite quite spendy, but it's it does a very, very nice job. All right, so I love the captions. 
Okay, let's uh, clear the filter and let's. So what we're doing right now is we're looking at ways to find the content that you need to help you find your ancestor. So I've got ancestors in uh, in the state of Pennsylvania here in the United States, and I'm wondering how do I find uh, any educational content on that. So let's go up here to the filters. So right now we're looking at all categories. I'll click there. And I'm going to go down to Places and Ethnicities. And that's going to load here for, uh, for just a minute. And, okay, good. That was pretty quick. So there's 423 in here that will teach you about a certain place. Well, let's look at what subcategories exist. And here you can see all of the different countries. And yeah, I'm just kind of looking around. So for the one that person just asked about Jamaica, uh, Winifred. No, it doesn't look like there's anything for Jamaica in here yet. I did see a proposal come in uh, that was talking about Jamaica for our 2022 series. So let's go to United States because that's how I'm going to find uh, Pennsylvania. And then within the United States, I'll click on all subcategories. And here we can see there's California, there's Jamestown, New Mexico, Rhode Island, Washington, D.C. That's a great series here. Uh, here's Pennsylvania, and there's nine of those in that series. And so this is very quickly going to show me what's available for uh, the state of Pennsylvania. And it's showing me, first of all, it's sorted by, yeah, there must be a lot of people on here because it's going a little slower than I would expect. Um, so it's sorted by the newest. So most recently, Michael Strauss taught us about uh, researching uh, in the city of Philadelphia. And I can use these same sort buttons. And uh, let's see what's uh, the most of these nine. Uh, what What is the most viewed? That might be the one I might want to start out with. So best online resources for Pennsylvania genealogy. And notice this is a bonus webinar that never was live, but it's uh, in there for members. So that's one way to access those that uh, those for Pennsylvania. And <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Denise. Okay. Uh, what about DNA? Let's use these filters again here. And we're in the webinar library. So let's go over to DNA testing here. And that's going to load. And boy, there's 214 of them uh, in here. So if you want DNA, yeah, you're going to you're gonna have you're gonna find the content content that you need. I want to sort this by I that's neat. It remembered what my last sort was. I didn't know it did that. So I'm gonna sort by newest. And we'll have our most recent one. So we had a couple of, yeah, a couple of these um, in our our recent Web Timber event. Now we're looking at DNA testing. There's 214 of them. It does have some su some subcategories here. So uh, this shows me that there's a there's a series for genetic genealogy Ireland. So if you have Ireland ancestors and want to see how uh, the topic of DNA interplays with that, click there. But if you're brand new to DNA testing, I would recommend that you first view this five course series here by Blaine Bettinger. And uh, this takes you, yeah, here we go, uh, through the foundations of DNA research. So DNA class number one, uh, you learn about Y DNA and number three, mitochondrial DNA and number four, and autosomal DNA in number five. So if you're brand new to DNA, uh, check that. I'd, I'd like to add some other filters or sub, you know, subcategories within DNA testing, like uh, just show you a list of everything on Y DNA or everything on X DNA. So that's something that I'll, it's not too hard for me to do. I just need the time. And looking at the languages, those, uh, well, the, the foundations course is only done in English. Um, I suppose if I head back to all of the DNA. Now, I'm, I'm telling you this, you might not need the other languages, but you might have uh, friends or family members that would be interested to know that uh, for DNA testing education, we do have them in Dutch, English, French, German, Italian, Norwegian, and Swedish. Uh, isn't that wonderful? Okay. So, I want to, so I've shown you how to use the filters here to find content for Pennsylvania. Let's just take a look at the search up here. So let's just start typing in Pennsylvania. And pretty quickly you can see, uh, well, it found other speakers with P-E-N-N -N in the name. 
What a beautiful search system here. Or titles with P-E-N-N in the title, or we go to the subcategory of Pennsylvania, and quite quickly it takes us uh, to those nine for the state of Pennsylvania. Now I see someone here in my questions panel is asking, what about speakers? I want to find uh, content by a certain speaker. So uh, we just click on the speakers tab up here at the top, and you'll notice that they're sorted by first name. And I think our last website, they were sorted by the their last name. I don't know which one's best, but it doesn't really matter because uh, because you could you could scroll through this list and just kind of browse to see who's uh, represented in here. You could just come up here at the top and and start typing in what you are looking for. Like you want you want to find Cindy Ingle, and there she is. And and uh, and when you find her or you find the speaker you're looking for, and you click on the person's name, uh, what that's going to do is it's going to show you everything that's uh, coming up for her. And well, it gives you the bio. It shows you all of the different categories of education that she has taught. And I'll scroll down. She looks like she's teaching about navigating your way through family search on October 13th at 6 p.m. my time. That's one of our evening ones. Uh, and then it shows you, boy, if you if you come and you just glance at her titles, uh, these are incredible uh, classes that she offers, and they're all right here in the Legacy Library. I just love that. Or if you don't want to find the content you're looking for by uh, the categories here or by the speakers here or by the search here, you can try just typing in their name, like Thomas McKenty, and uh, and that's his vanity URL. Just type in their name, and that'll show you both what's upcoming and what's in the library. Okay, let me go back to my... Oh, yes, this is a good one. So <laughs> my question is, uh, you might not have time today. So let's say that you find something in the webinar library that you really, really like, and you want to make sure that you come back to it, but you don't have time today. So if you have a webinar membership, this is just another of those many perks. I'm going to log in and show you. And uh, here we go. I'll click sign in. And I, I see lots and lots. There's hundreds of comments and questions here in my questions panel. Uh, tricky to de uh, both dem demo and uh, see everything over here at the same time, uh, doing my best. So, Okay, so I'm now logged in. Now, uh, this one right here by Michelle Leonard. In inferred mapping explained. That looks interesting. Because I'm logged in, this bookmark... Uh, icon appears and I can put a bookmark there I'm just looking this one was one of the best I've ever seen by Robin Smith I've already got that bookmarked so as you bookmark these you'll be able to whenever you have time you'll click there come down to my lists and here's my list of bookmarks so and if if you're done with it just click on remove, just click on that bookmark icon again, and it removes it. Yeah, Rebecca says bookmarks is going to be my new best friend. Tracy says, yay. Uh, Rebecca's, uh, no, let's see. Karen says, if you've marked videos to watch in the future on, on our old site, will that transfer over to this new system? Yes, it will. Absolutely. Oh, and that's what Monique says. She says, so happy that our Bookmark saved from the older website is here in the new. Okay, uh, your watch history. So you, so you are able to watch a little bit, you know, one night, and you're not able to to finish it. If you're a webinar member, then you can come in here to your watch history, and this will show you what you were last uh, viewing. Within the watch history or within my bookmarks, or within registered webinars, and maybe there's a whole bunch of them in here, you've got, a, you've got your own separate search box in here that you can utilize. Okay, very good. I think I'm done with uh, what I want to show you as I'm logged in. So back to the home page. The Tech Zone. Now, I love Tech Zone. You love Tech Zone. 
tech zone on the on the home page you can find just by scrolling to right here build your tech skills in 10 minutes or less so uh, everything here in the tech zone and it looks like there's 131 of these uh, short videos now and they these videos are meant to uh, ask and answer one question so you want to know how to broadcast live from Facebook well we've got that for you three ways to use DNA painters Centa Morgan estimator tool so you can just scroll through here to see what's the latest in the tech zone or you can come right over here and click on view all and that will take you to the tech zone and uh, yeah so that's that's one way you can do it and uh, using what you've learned already you can use the filters to come and click on tech zone you can use the search to type in tech zone or you could even try to see if it has its own vanity URL and just type it in, and it sure does, and it takes you right to the tech zone. Okay, very good. Now back to the home page, a couple of other things uh, here I want to point out. So if you wanted to, to just browse the categories, well, you could browse the categories here on the webinar library and just click right here. And this gives you the ability to just browse uh, the, the top-level categories. You can also do that just here on the home page. So scroll down to kind of almost to the bottom. And here's the, the major categories. And, well, if you click on view all, it will, I think, give you another couple rows here. So if you want to know, if you're a brand new beginner, well, there's 24 classes there in the library to, to uh, learn how to get started. Uh, if you, I, love, I love organization. If you want to know how to get, how do you get organized, well, yeah, you've got some different ideas in here. How to organize your computer even. How to organize your photos. Uh, organize your online life. The, you want to go paperless? Well, we've got a class for that. Uh, sharing your digital images. Uh, the the four color coding, color coding system, which I love. And then uh, I personally use the system here that Karen Clifford talks about. Okay, so uh, that's using those those uh, those main categories here on the on the home page just come and click here uh, for those all right let's let's actually go into the actual video uh, and let's just go and take a a recent one like uh, Moravian trails and records this is one that uh, to be honest I don't I don't know anything about Moravian trails and records and uh, and so let's let's just go here. Let's click on the introduction. It's going to play a little. Oh, this is a this is one of the bonus webinars, and I want to do this without. Well, okay. Last time, Jeff Rasmussen at Gmail dot and oh yeah, and I'm going to sign in here. I want to show you some cool new enhancements that we've uh, added here on the new website to the table of contents section. <laughs> what did I do? Has that ever happened to you? All right, let me come over here and look at what's coming in. Case it, yeah, I hope this webinar will be free forever. It indeed will. I guess I don't, I guess I have now forgotten. Oh, there's no dot in there. Good heavens. I don't usually use this email address, but I, I didn't want to sign into my other one because I've got some testing things associated with it. So this time I'm I will be successful in logging in. There we go. All right. I, no, I don't want to add that. Okay, so we're here at Moravian Trails and Records. I'm going to click on. You can click on any of these if you want to. If you're a webinar member, uh, otherwise it uh, just kind of shows you what's there. So I'll click on Introduction, and it's going to. Oh. I love that little jingle. So that's kind of a required thing that we just add. It's it's not very long. This is Moravian Trails and Records, a presentation. And you could pause just by clicking anywhere. And if I want to head over to the major record types, I just click. Now, this is reflected in some of their records. They also believed in that. Uh, and do you see what's coming, what's happening down here at the bottom? If you need this, closed captions is now built right into the video player. We used to. When you clicked on it in the past, it would open up a different thing, and, and it was kind of clunky, but boy, I love how this has been implemented. Now, watch what happens. I'm going to click I'm gonna click play, and then I'm going to click on this little gear icon. Love this. 
Okay, let me click play. Community diary. Um, someone was whose job it was Speed. to be the community diarist would record the daily uh, goings on in that community. And those books are still available to this day. Uh, there are church registers for <laughs> baptism, confirmation, marriages, and burial. So if you want to get through the webinar just a bit faster, click here, click on speed, and you can uh, double the speed. Or if they were talking a little fast, then you can come and adjust that if needed. So this is something that's new on the new website. And Kirsten says, yeah, these chapters, uh, being able to click on it works on the free... Yeah, I think it works until uh, it works on the free ones until they're part of uh, after the seven day viewing free viewing period. OK. And after a live webinar concludes, this is where the syllabus is found. And if you're logged in, then you just click and it opens opens up the PDF file. And if there's a chat log for the live webinar, then that will show up right here. If you want to know more about that webinar or learn more about that speaker, then you would click here. And I absolutely love it. Let me let me show you what I absolutely love. Uh, after the live webinar concludes, you're always presented with a with a survey. And oh, yeah, I worked on this one personally by Judy the other. Uh, she gave this one on Friday. Uh, I haven't per, uh, I haven't watched it yet. Let me let me bookmark that. But as you scroll down underneath the webinar, this is where. Uh, you go and 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 I appreciate when you fill out that survey afterwards, and uh, you click that checkbox that allows us to put your uh, your comments about the live webinar here on the website, and so you can go and view what other people are saying about it, or come come here and share your thoughts as well. Uh, we do read every single last one of those, uh, although we're not able to respond to every single last one of those. Oh, and Therese, if yeah, if there's a if there's a chat log, and I've uploaded it. Uh, then the chat log uh, icon will be shown uh, right here. Oh, Bobby says, can you turn off the closed caption? Yeah, uh, just, just. well, I moved away from one. Uh, this one doesn't yet have the captions. I'm sure we'll, we're receiving it any moment now. But either turn them on or turn them off. Just, just click the little button there. Okay, anything else that I want to show you while I'm here? Yeah, when when you're back and looking at your webinars that you're currently viewing. Do you see that little orange uh, bar? That's just a quick indication that you are now at that point in the webinar. So uh, if you're wondering what's that orange, well, that's what that is. Okay. Oh, and finally, as you're watching a webinar and you're transitioning from chapter to chapter, do you remember on the on the old site how there would be a little Oh, it, like a, a change of video that happens. Well, that never happens on this new website. So it's a very smooth transition between uh, every single section. At, and that allows you, if you know about Chromecasting, that now allows you to view the entire webinar on your on your large screen TV in your living room via Chromecast. So uh, love that. Now, some of you are asking about uh, iPad uh, or, um, you know, can I, how is the website and a mobile device? Well, if I go like, I'm going to make my window a little bit smaller because I think it's completely responsive. Yeah, so let's go back to the home page. So this is what your, uh, what your whole, the website looks like when you're on your mobile device. So, uh, the website is responsive. Do you notice uh, how it has adjusted? And then uh, all of your menu items are right up here. I don't have an iPad, so I, I can't show you on an iPad, but uh, I just showed you right there what it actually would look like. Okay. Back to... PowerPoint. I hope you're getting some tips and tricks here. Oh, let's let's do us uh, just a few frequently asked questions, and to do that, I'm going to scroll all the way. Well, I thought I was. Okay, back on this. Where's my scroll bar over on the right? I can't seem to. Let me just refresh refresh my page. There we go. If I scroll all the way down to the very bottom. Here's the frequently asked questions. 
And so if you're wondering uh, where is that syllabus, yeah, just come here and, and this reminds you uh, where it will show up. I get lots of people asking, can my society or library use one of your webinar replays? And uh, we've got all of our speakers together and we've come up with something that uh, that works for everybody. So uh, yeah, the answer is yes. And, and, and uh, here's the four uh, scenarios where it would work. And so just come and review that if you'd like. If uh, you, you hear me talking about other goodies you can buy in the shop sometimes, uh, that shows that link right here. We'll, we'll uh, take you there. If you want to contact me, just click there. If you want to make some money <laughs> by uh, signing up for the affiliate program, uh, just come and register for an affiliate account right there. And if you've got a, a speaking proposal you'd like to share with me, just come and click on that link. All right. We're almost to the end of this. Um, members only benefit. So if you're a webinar member, then uh, you've got any time access to now there's more than 1600 classes up there now, including the bonus class. And I want to show you how to pretty quickly uh, get to those. So back on the website, let's let's go to the webinar library and I'm going to find all of the bonus webinars um, using the filter right here. So if I click on all categories and I come and click on bonus webinars uh, here in just a second, this is going to show you, well, it looks like, okay, there's 567. What is that? Just a little less than, than one third of all of the classes on the website were never broadcast live. Uh, and these are bonus webinars uh, if you have a webinar membership. So, uh, yeah, that is one of these bonus uh, members only benefits. Of course, new webinars every week. Uh, members get access to the chat logs and the speakers handouts and goodness, I think now there's more than 6,000 pages of the handouts. Uh, just that right there is worth the uh, worth uh, 49.95 for everything that you get. Yes, advanced navigation of videos with the playlists and the chapters. I've shown you this to see all the webinars you've signed up for, the bookmarks. Uh, at each live webinar, I do have a, the first door prize always goes to a webinar member. Plus, you get an, uh, a little extra off in, in the shop. And I, I, I calculated this the other day, three cents per class for everything that's in there. It makes me think that, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have thought of that, but it makes me think that that forty nine ninety five is really, really low. Anyways, uh, I've appreciated some of the things that you've uh, personally emailed me, and uh, these are just three of the many, many, many uh, comments that you've sent in to me. And I appreciate the the other kinds of comments where you're saying, hey, I don't really quite understand something, and yeah, I take those back to the developers and uh, and we get working on it. So that's the new and improved Legacy Family Tree Webinars website. I hope you also think it's improved and write that down because that's the I don't usually give a 15% off coupon it's usually a 10 but uh, write down web timber and that's good through uh, two days from now so um, excuse me I got a cough okay I'm back uh, web timber and that'll get you 15% off uh, of a new webinar membership uh, coming up through this Thursday. So I'm going to go through some business, some door prizes, and then I'm going to head over and uh, look at your questions that you've typed in. Okay, so I've taught you here today how to, and I, hopefully you you now know how, how to easily find it, uh, how to find what's brand new. Of course, most recently are the 30 classes from WebTember. Now, when I, inf when I just said 30, it make, makes me think, you don't need to come and attend all 1,606 webinars. You don't need to watch those. But hopefully when it's time, we've got something there for you. All right. Uh, yeah, last Friday's Tech Zone video was uh, by Michelle Leonard on linking families, trees to DNA results. These are all free with your webinar membership. And the Tech Zone, they're never live. They just show up uh, published on the website. This coming Friday... 
<laughs> this is not. Uh, we released this last week. This coming Friday, uh, we are hoping to have a Tech Zone video uh, on the topic of either Snagit or Zotero. So watch for the Tech Zone uh, this coming Friday. And just a wonderful lineup of what's coming. And you've learned how to sign up one at a time or sign up for bulk. And yeah, just your reminder that these are in the free area through Thursday. But if you've got a membership, then you've got any time access to Web Timber. Okay, door prize time. I'm going to get out my, you know, I'm not using pencil and paper anymore to write down your names. So I'm pulling up my doc so I can just type our winners. So uh, in the shop, uh, this was a, a fun book to ha to write, and it's got large fonts and and it's it's a pretty quick read, but kindred voices listening for our ancestors. Thanks, Bobby, uh, writing in saying I love your book. Um, so our winner, uh, Brendan McConnell of uh, Rouse Hill, New South Wales, in Australia, and uh, first door prize always goes to a member. So very good. All right. One Step to Faster Internet at Home. This has been watched quite a bit. Uh, this is one of the Tech Zone videos. So let's go and, and I'll find our winner for this. Looks like Jerry Martinez. So congrats to you, Jerry. Glad that you're here today. All right, next to Let's Give Away Legacy Family Tree Software. And we'll say congrats to Trish Short, who is here live. And let's do a free month up at the webinar website. And we'll say congrats to Stephen Liebig. That's coming your way. And there's a reminder, Web Timber. Write that down. Hurry. Or go. Oh. I'll stick the direct link in your chat area. Maybe that'll encourage about a thousand new memberships here today. I'd love that. All right. And you will love that. And... All right, I think that's all my business. So now I'm going to head over to over to my chat, and I'll just go down through questions as best as I can here. All right. Uh, yeah, Celia, thanks. I do like the new website. I've been poking around in it, trying th things out, pushing virtual buttons. You're not going to break it, so go and just experiment with it. Thanks, Therese. Oh, how fun to be live and unscripted. Okay, going down. Chris, I love that it tells me if I'm already registered for a particular webinar. Okay, we've answered that question from Cecily. Okay, now I'm going to just look for question marks. Okay, so talking about the calendar, Julie says, when you get a confirmation email... Do you then need to add it to your calendar? Yeah, if it's if it's one you actually want to be there for, then uh, then I would personally add it to your calendar uh, by using that add to calendar button. That just that adds the entire series to your calendar all at once and lets you turn it on or off if you want to. All right, let's keep on going down your questions. Yeah, Diane says that the webinar list used to take forever um, at the beginning of the year to load. Has that been? Yeah, it's it now, uh, Diane. It 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 only loads the first nine or twelve or something like that. So it is uh, pretty quick. And uh, Lois Marie talking about the super speed for members. Uh, yeah, it's actually sped up quite a bit. And uh, so I I hope and I think that you'll really enjoy the speed. Okay, keep on going down. Marianne says, I've been taking so many webinars. Is there a way to find out if I had taken a webinar perhaps in a prior year and forgot about it? Really good question. I'm not, sh I'm not sure if we were able to bring over the watch history or not. I'm not sure, Marianne. Um, maybe log in and... Go and see if it's in your watch list. All right. Let's keep on going down. 
Okay, Robin, I showed you how to find just the bonus webinars. Jackie, I showed you how to find webinars by the name of the presenter. I love this. I think I've answered most of your questions. Um, Monique. Yeah, Monique says, can I make a suggestion to put a checkbox on the login screen to stay logged in? Uh, yeah, I've, I've sent that suggestion in there already. Yes, Maria. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm adding the chat log. And thanks to Ruth Stings, who's uh, with us every live webinar. Uh, I do add the chat log uh, to as many live webinars as we can. So, uh, yeah, look for that. Yes. Uh, yes, Kendra, you can sort by presenter. We looked at that. I love this from Peggy, who says, remember back in 2010 when the webinars started, there was a whole nine of them for the whole year. How things have grown. Yeah, it's it's been an incredible ride. All right. One of you asked, uh, Therese, yeah, there are. Let's Let's head over there and let's just check. So let's go back to all. And what she's asking is, when will Spanish be put on the languages list? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's already there. So let's go to languages and go to, yeah, here's Spanish. And so I've just clicked on it and we'll just uh, let that load. Uh, and by the way, once once this, this uh, webinar website is, yeah, there's seven of them up there right now. Once the website is up and done and, and uh, we've got the kinks uh, cleaned out of it, uh, the whole website's going to be translated into other languages as well, and then we'll be able to really um, just have at it for adding uh, uh, all kinds of webinars for other languages. Cynthia, how do you find a, a webinar on Quaker Records? Well, you can try and figure out that Oh, let's go to upcoming webinars. You could try to figure out how to do it uh, this way by browsing the various categories, or uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest that you do it the really fast, simple way, just by using the search box over here. So when you click there, oh, click there, just start typing in Quaker Records. Click there, and pretty quickly um, it'll show you. Okay. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. I love the new website features. Your joy gives us joy. Genealogy webinars are a new phenomenon for me, and legacy family trees are the best. Thanks, Elizabeth, um, and I appreciate the other comments that you wrote uh, after that. Looking for other questions that have come in. How do we get old older webinar syllabus uh, for members? Well, where, wherever you're at, so if you want the, to learn about the Quaker migration after the Revolutionary War, just click on that, and it's always just right below the video area. So I really hope that that helps. I think so, Wayne. Wayne, I've, I don't think I've ever been asked this. If I, as an individual, have a webinar membership, can my wife use it as well? Yeah, you bet. Although I don't think that there would then be any differentiation between ones that you watch and ones that she watches. So that would be something to watch out for. Uh, Jane says, do the syllabus, do the syllabi expire at a certain point after the live webinar or do they stay with the video in the library? No, they're always there. And we don't, uh, yeah, we don't remove those. Paula, yes, if you notice a correction needed in the closed captioning, uh, then just send me an email. Pretty easy for us to correct that. But they are pretty good. Anne says, when are webinars retired? Well, not very often, uh, but we do retire some of them if we, uh, if we notice that uh, perhaps it's, if it's a technology type of a webinar and it's really, really out of date, then uh, I usually like to try and do a new one on the same topic. And so if we do that, then we will um, retire the old one. All right, looking for other questions. Diana says, if I register, but I missed the live presentation, does it get flagged to my bookmarks? 
Really interesting thought, but no. So just go, just go and add the bookmark uh, shortly afterwards. Okay, Jan and Greg says to put the display on the TV from Apple devices, use the the something called screen mirroring. Very good. All right, answered that. Well, okay, Corinne. See, I was thinking about raising the price, but she just says, I love that you've kept the cost so low. <laughs> Always have the feeling that legacy is more about helping genealogists rather than making loads of money. Well, yeah. I mean, first, I mean, personally, that's what I'm about. But having said that, it does take quite a bit to host and produce one webinar and so uh and you know we we pay the speakers we pay for the technology and so on uh, to host and and uh and so your webinar memberships that does uh cover and pay for it so we really appreciate it all right what else okay cindy answered that one okay i just moved it moved down moved this down and uh <laughs> now we're Where'd these questions go? Yes, uh, those of you who are suggesting to add the watched box again on the webinar, um, can we do that? Yeah, uh, I, I would like to. Robin, send me a personal email. I'll help you, uh, I'll help you with, with your specific uh, question there. Okay. Uh, sure, Bernhard. Um, access to closed captioning. So, to, uh, well, if you're in the webinar library, and I'll just go right right to it, it'll tell you there will be a little CC sign on any webinar that has it. Uh, you can put a little check mark right here to filter on those that have it, and more than half of them do, including all of them in the last couple of years. Uh, just yeah, just look for the little CC right here. And when you're playing the actual video, the CC button is in the lower right of it. Bobby, can I figure out how to add more hours to a day to watch more webinars? Yeah, I'd really like to do that, but I'd prefer to watch a good webinar like I did on Paul Milner's uh, a, what, a week ago, two weeks ago, and then go and do the research. So... Interesting, Adria. How about a section that just contains all the syllabus? That would be convenient. Interesting. David uh, says, will this webinar replay be available for the future? Yeah, it'll just show up here in the webinar library. Kendra. Thanks for your comments, Kendra, who says, I'm a new member this year, and the value is amazing. Well worth the minimal cost. So much. Yeah, I agree. So much information in the syllabus and much better than my scribbled notes. Good. I'm glad that you love the new changes and keep coming down ooh i would like that k okay. any webinars on the panama canal no not yet i mean i can maybe i've overlooked one panama no not yet And Lynn, are, am I still going to be the host of the webinars? Yeah, I, I absolutely love it. And I'm sure appreciate, uh, appreciative of Mary and Pierre-Louis, who uh, also co-hosts uh, webinars with me. I couldn't do it without her. All right, it looks like we've uh, gone through uh, all of your questions. Now, uh, for those of you asking, how do I join? Well, just head up to uh, FamilyTreeWebinars.com and click on Join Now, and there you have it. Well, you know what I'm doing in uh, in the background every day in addition to preparing for uh, our live webinars and publishing them afterwards is I'm going through uh, all of the submissions that have been uh, proposed for our 2022 series, and I, I just can't believe how there's still content that we still haven't covered, like the Panama Canal. I don't think I saw one of those come in, but maybe I'll put uh, my feelers out for someone uh, that speaks on that. But yeah, it's a real big, real big job. Uh, last year, I had over 2,000 proposals, and we don't have that many days in a year. But uh, sure love uh, being a part of this, and I'm sure thankful for all of you who are also a part of it. I, I just hope that it's achieving the purpose that I have in mind and 
in uh, one, I guess, helping you to find your ancestors, but also to come come somewhere where we're a webinar family together, we're learning together, and and hopefully we're breaking through some brick walls together. So uh, good luck to all of you, and uh, we'll, well, when's our next live webinar? Looks like it's in just over 22 hours from now. We'll see you then if that's a topic you're interested in. Uh, but you never know what you might learn on Webinar Wednesday. Okay, everyone, uh, life is short. Do genealogy first. Bye, everyone. <laughs>